This is John Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to use Ventrilo. In this tutorial we will discuss how to install the program as well as join a server and some of the basic settings you should know. Although most multiplayer games have some form of voice communication, few have come even close to the clarity and ease with which Ventrilo connects its members. To download this program, simply go to www.ventrilo.com and click the download link on the left hand side. On the download page, click the link for your operating system. For most people, this will be the top option for 32-bit Windows clients. You must then click the I Agree button on the bottom left. This will open a dialog box to save the download. Make sure to save it someplace where you can find it once the download is complete. Once the download is complete, run the installation and click Next through all the options. The one step you will need to pay attention to during install is checking the Accept box on the license agreement. Click the Finish button at the end to complete the install and then launch Ventrilo from the desktop icon it created for you. It may ask if you wish to read documentation online, but because we are going over the basic settings in this tutorial, you can click no. At this point, Ventrilo should be open, and you should see a row of buttons on the right hand side and a few drop down boxes at the top. The first is for users. If you have several people using the same computer, you can each set up a user and select the one you want with this option. To get started, click the arrow button to the far right of the username drop down. This will open the setup user window. Click New, and then type whatever name you wish people to see when you connect to Ventrilo servers. The phonetic box lets you type in words that represent how your computer will try to announce your name when you connect to servers. Sometimes it takes creative spelling to get it sounding just right. There is a play box to the right that will let you hear how it is pronouncing what you have typed in this box already. You can also just leave it blank, and Ventrilo will do the best that it can. Click OK once you are done selecting your name. The next dropdown is for servers. Once you put the info into Ventrilo for a server, it will stay in this dropdown list until you remove it, making it easy to connect to different servers anytime you want. Click the arrow to the far right of the server dropdown. This will open the connection editor. Click the New button to enter a server. It will ask for the server name, which you can make whatever you want. Pick something that will make the server easy to distinguish, because once you have 20 or so servers, it gets very confusing if they are not clearly labeled. The rest of the settings you will need to get from someone already using the server you wish to connect to. The first box is hostname or IP. The smaller Ventrilo servers tend more towards an IP, and the larger ones usually have a hostname. Either will work fine, as long as it is the correct information for the server. The port number must also be correct, and if they have a password, you will naturally have to have that as well. The default channel box is optional. It is for those situations where you find yourself moving to the exact same channel every time you connect to Vent. Here you can tell it to put you in that channel by default. Once you've given the server a name, a hostname or IP, a port, and a password if they use one, click OK to finish. You can now click the connect button and it will join you to the Ventrilo server you have selected. If you've received an error message, check your server info again and correct any mistakes that may exist. Servers do also have a limit on how many people that can connect at one time, so it's possible you will not be able to connect if the server is already full. When you connect to a server, you should see a list of channels available. To change the channel you are in, simply double click on the one you wish to join. You should see your username move to the channel that you clicked on. You should note that you can only talk with people in the same channel that you are in. Notice that each person has a red speaker icon to the left of their username. When a person talks through vent, the speaker will turn green until they are done. If they are in another channel, or muted so that you cannot hear them, when they try to talk, the speaker will turn yellow instead. There is a mute microphones bind checkbox on the bottom right of Entrilo. If you were able to talk a moment before, and then suddenly you can't, make sure this checkbox is unchecked. Click the button on the middle right hand side labeled Setup. Note that people cannot hear you talk when you are in the settings window. There are many tabs across the top, but most of the settings people change are contained in the first tab labeled Voice. The checkbox at the top left, Use Push to Talk Hotkey, changes Ventrilo from voice activated to a more walkie talkie setup. With this box checked, you are only broadcasting your voice when you hold down the button indicated in the hotkey box farther down the settings page. If you click the hotkey box, you may change it to whatever you wish. Just make sure it's not a key you commonly use for other things, or you will end up broadcasting all the time by accident. If Use Push to Talk Hotkey is not checked, Ventrilo is voice activated. The sensitivity box indicates how loud you have to be for it to turn on your microphone. The bigger the number, the louder you have to be to activate it. Silence time is how long of a pause there can be in your talking before it stops broadcasting your voice. On the top right, you can select what microphone Ventrilo is using by clicking the drop down for input device and picking the one you want. Sliders at the bottom right are volume controls for vent. Outbound is how loud it broadcasts your voice, and inbound is how loud everyone else sounds to you. There is a test button on the bottom left. Once clicked, Ventrilo will send your voice to the server and then right back to you so you can hear it. This is a good way to test if you have your settings correct. Please note there is usually a delay between when you talk and when you hear the test come back to you. The delay when you talk to other people on Vent is not quite so long and usually depends on the quality of your connection. Once your settings are complete, click the OK button on the bottom right and you're done. 
Ventrilo is a powerful tool that helps bring people together all over the world. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the Warcraft Science channel and favorite this video as we depend upon your support.